Welcome to Brunch with Buck Bowen. I'm here with Margaret Downey. She's a friend, a fellow free thinker, an activist, and a member on just about any organizational board you can think of. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to add to that? And founder and president of the Free Thought Society. Um, mm -hmm. Particularly proud of the Anti Discrimination Support Network. Okay, so. I'm really excited about this next one. Actually, I'm not, but it's a triple double. Okay. Yeah. Se second, <laughs> three questions. Second, question in. All second right. card in. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> How would you define atheist? Wait, wait. There's two more. Okay. <laughs> do you think it's necessary the term, and do you think it can be stigmatic? Hmm. Well, atheism is simply not believing that there is a God. Okay. It's just life without God. And um, it unfortunately does have stigmatism to it because of all the damage that was done um, in the 1960s mm. with the media. So the term atheist is changing. And I think it's a term that's needed. Mm -hmm. We do have to have a distinction between those who are agnostic and those who are atheists. Right. So we do need that. Um, but we need to have the media understand that non-belief, non-belief in a deity mm -hmm. comes in all shades. Right, right. Um, How many shades exactly? <laughs> maybe 50? Yeah, maybe 50 shades yeah. of gray. So, yeah. you know, why not? <laughs> 50 shades of gray on square. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Thank you. Let's let's uh, pitch that to him for okay. his next album. All right, I'm pitching that one to you for your next album, buddy. <laughs> so um, I see us, you know, trying to get the media to understand that there's secular Jews who don't believe in God. Right. There's humanists. There's uh, free thinkers. Um, so the terminology has to be diverse enough to make the public understand and the media understand that. Atheism is not the term adopted by everyone. Right. Yeah. Really quickly, do you um well, You're going to edit this, right? Oh, sorry. Do you th can a, somebody someone who's Christian be a free thinker? As long as they have an open mind mm -hmm. to examine what they've been told. And as long as they are willing to um, to do the research and, mm -hmm. and to um, talk to people about their um, inquisitive nature, right. then they would be welcome in the Free Thought Society. Right. Um, would if, they be classified as a free thinker, though? No, not quite yet. Okay. Um, <laughs> they would <laughs> have work your way up. They would have to abandon dogma and um, and the. Um, would they be like a cheap thinker? Maybe. <laughs> right. I love the term freedom of thought and, yeah. and free thinking and free thinker. And, you know, that terminology came about in the 19th century with Robert Greene Ingersoll mm. calling himself a free thinker and, and the free thought movement started. Um, they started questioning the church and dogma and traditions. And in that way, they were calling themselves free thinkers. Mm. So I'm proud to be a part of that community. Yeah, I feel like I can. I feel like um, there's a movie, and I can't remember the name of it, but um, it highlights a family in the 19th century. A Christmas the, Story. No, no, it's not that one. But um, during one of the scenes, the wife wants to baptize the child, mm. and he said, "No, my child will not be baptized. I am a free thinker." Oh, wow. And I almost fell out on the floor when I heard that because I thought, wow, you know, that that's was, what I am. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's an. Uh, it's an old movie. Okay. Yeah. Are you Team Thomas Jefferson or Team Thomas Paine? Definitely Thomas Paine. Um, I have been um, studying the life of Thomas Paine for many, many years, mm -hmm. and I'm proud to say that he never owned slaves. In right. fact, he wrote the very first article about the horror of slavery mm. and it was published in the Philadelphia magazine back in the early 1700s and and um, Thomas Paine was the first to advocate for um, ending slavery mm -hmm. and abolition 
and um, he worked very hard to free all people. Right. Um, very few people know the exciting life that he led, and so I've developed a assembly yeah. for children. That's cool. And they're wrapped in the story as I tell them that he wanted to be a pirate, and then you know how he came close to death with the yeah. king's horsemen chasing him to the dock, and you know how he went to France and was imprisoned, and the children just find these things fascinating. So, I'm really excited about this, by the way. I'm just like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I. I whenever I hear this, I'm gonna rant alert. Whenever I hear somebody say that they didn't vote, I just like I, for some reason I, I think of Thomas Paine and I think about. That. I do an assembly where I talk about how women mm. struggled for oh, the eighty years to get the right to vote, and. Um, I show slides. Uh, fortunately, we have pictures from that era. Mm -hmm. Wait, and really so quickly. The, the interesting thing is the term suffrage has nothing to do with suffering. No. <laughs> well, it is our suffrage. It is our um, quest for getting the vote. Mm. And that's why they called it suffrage. Mm -hmm. you know, we are suffering to to achieve the right So it does equally. have something to do with suffering? Well, sort of. <laughs> Wait, are you just kind of like trying to nudge it yeah, in there? Yeah, I am. Oh, okay. Hey, you know, if you're honest uh, about you're it, You're making me suffer explaining this. <laughs> but this is not the suffrage, so no. you got that distinction. But, you know, if, if I, I wonder if, you know, the, the blacks would have called it uh, suffrage for equal rights. Yeah. Would that have been right? Or calling it the civil rights movement, yeah. you know, made it more clear. Or calling it the police siren, siren pouring into my audio right now. <laughs> Life goes on. Hey, Reed, will you will you take the the top book off of that, please? Can you? So, no, the, the OCD is kicking in. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Just a little bit more? A little bit more. All right, that's good, that's good. Probably a little bit too much. I'll deal with it. So I'm going to go back to voting if you don't mind. No, yeah, we're...